Hey guys, today we're talking about semaglutide versus terzepatide. This is something that I personally did a lot of research in towards the beginning of my GLP-1 journey and I thought, hey, why not just share my research with you guys? So let's break down which one is better, by how much, does it really make that much of a difference? What is the difference? Let's talk about all of that. So first, what are they? Semaglutide is the ingredient that is found in Ozempic and its weight loss version, Wagovi, and its oral version, Revelsis. Terzepatide is the active ingredient that is found in Monjero and its weight loss version, Zepbound. Both semaglutide and terzepatide are available in compound versions in the US because there is a national shortage of these medications. Semaglutide works by mimicking the GLP-1 receptor agonist that tells your brain that you're full. Terzepatide mimics both the GLP-1 and the GIP hormones that signal to your body that you are full. Both of these medications are proven to aid in blood sugar management and weight loss management. All right, let's just talk numbers. In a clinical trial with semaglutide patients, in a 68-week study, patients lost an average of around 15% of their body weights. So a 200-pound patient lost on average about 30 pounds. In a 72-week study on terzepatide, patients lost an average of around 21% of their weights. So that means a 200 pound patient on terzepatide would have lost an average of about 42 pounds. So that's a 12 pound difference. So terzepatide does clearly seem to lead to more weight loss, but both semaglutide and terzepatide seem to be excellent for weight loss. Terzepatide is just a little better. Let's talk about side effects. In studies on Wagubi, which is semaglutide, patients experience nausea about 44% of the time, diarrhea, 30% of the time, vomiting 24%, constipation 24%. So in a study on Zepbound, which is terzepatide, it's name brand terzepatide, patients experience nausea 25 to 28% of the time, diarrhea 19 to 23% of the time, vomiting 8 to 13% of the time, constipation 11 to 17% of the time. I do feel like I want to mention having experience on one of these medications that um, just because you are likely to experience some of these side effects doesn't mean that they're all the time. They probably peak between days two and four of taking your shots and they may be super mild or they may be moderate or more severe. So just because someone experienced these side effects doesn't necessarily indicate how severe their side effects were. They might have just felt a little nauseous one day of the week while some different patient, you know, may have been actually like throwing up multiple days of the week. So that patient maybe it just wasn't a good fit for. Let's talk about cost because this is a big one. Wagubi name brand semaglutide for weight loss goes for $1,350 for a 28-day supply, and that is with no insurance or no coupons. So ZepBound has a listing price of $1,060 for a one-month supply, and that's, of course, with no insurance and no coupons. Well, Gooby does have a savings card that can take $250 off that overall cost if your commercial insurance will not cover it. Setbound has a savings card that can bring the cost down to $550, and that's if your commercial insurance will not cover it. Neither of them are very affordable if your insurance does not cover it. If your insurance will cover one of these name brands, you have absolutely won the insurance lottery. There are not many insurances anymore that want to cover them and they are dropping coverage fast because the sticker price on these medications is so outrageous. If you have um, a certain condition, so for example, if you have cardiovascular disease, your insurance may cover Wagovi for you because Wagovi has now FDA approved for cardiovascular disease, or your insurance may just be more likely to cover Wagovi because it's been around longer. So I would definitely call your insurance, ask them about that, um, look into that. I know my telehealth will write prior authorizations and submit appeals. I use Join Fridays. There'll be information in the description box all about Join Fridays. My insurance personally will absolutely not cover any GLP-1s. So I use the compounds. 
My telehealth joint Fridays has some of the lowest compound prices that I have seen absolutely anywhere. Right now, semaglutide is $129 a month, antrazepatide is $179 a month, but it does increase with dosage. So much more affordable, but still an investment into your health, absolutely. So looking at the price, name brands, if your commercial insurance will not cover it, and you use the manufacturer coupons, you're actually gonna get Zepbound, which is terzepatide, which is better for less. Still $550 a month, but for less. If you're going the compound route, you can get semaglutide for a little bit less. Now you're gonna lose probably a little bit less, but you can get semaglutide for a little bit less. Now here's what I chose. I chose terzepatide. I did my research and I was like, you know what? I want the good stuff. <laughs> I actually went into this and I still have this mindset. I don't plan on being on this forever. I plan on doing short-term therapy. Now, the research we have on getting on and off these medications, really, we only have research on people with diabetes and with chronic obesity. And that research shows that the majority of people gain a lot of the weight back. But we don't really have research yet on people who are situationally overweight, who had a hormonal imbalance. In my case, I had PCOS and cardiovascular disease. And after I had my second baby, I just couldn't get rid of the weight and I was having all sorts of hormonal issues. And terzepatide has dramatically improved all of that as well as led to lots of weight loss. So I feel like my situation is a little different than these studies. So my plan has always been to try to do this to get to my goal weight and then try to maintain through lifestyle afterwards. Right now I'm in my fifth month and I am leaning off of it and I'm taking a half of my starting dose and I have not gained any back. I plan on checking in and doing updates on this channel, so be sure to subscribe. But because of that too, um, if I'm able to get off the medicine sooner and get to my goal weight sooner, then I'm saving money by doing terzepatide. So if five months on terzepatide gets me to my goal weight versus eight months on semaglutide, then I'm actually saving money on terzepatide if you catch my drift. Also, side effects can be a little less on terzepatide. There's research ongoing about the cardiovascular benefits, and those seem just fabulous. So ultimately, I decided to go with terzepatide. Now, in my first week of terzepatide, I lost six or seven pounds, which was crazy. That is kind of a normal, but sometimes in your first week, you drop a lot of water weight and your inflation is dramatically reduced. And so that seems to be what happened to me. I dropped some of this hormonal water weight that I had been carrying, which is so great. I felt so great with that gone. I look so much better and my like cheekbones were coming out again. I was so puffy. So even after one week, I noticed a big difference. And then from then on, I usually lost one or two pounds a week. Every once in a while, there was a crazy week where I lost three and I tried to really do it right. I um, focused on strength training and regular exercise and a high protein, low carb diet with lots of fiber. I tried to prioritize my sleep, take care of my body and my body just really feels stronger now. I hit my goal weights at the end of my fourth month and then now I'm doing a very long wean off, like a six week long wean off of it just to get my body back used to having the food noise come back and um, just slowly getting my body used to coming off of it. So far it's been going good. The food noise is back and it's uncomfortable and I'm learning coping strategies to have this food noise again. That's the one thing that I think is like the most bummer about getting off of it. But besides that, I'm continuing my lifestyle changes. My body just feels amazingly healthier. I don't feel as exhausted all the time. I felt so exhausted and unhealthy. And I just 100%, I'm so glad I did this. No regrets. I did have some side effects. Um, on days two through four of my shots, I noticed I'd be a little extra tired. I would um, have some nausea, sometimes a little GI upset. Um, and so I tried to just time my shots. So I would either take my shot on Wednesday nights or Thursday nights. And then usually the peak side effects would kind of hit over the weekend. And that's something I would definitely suggest. Now these side effects, I did kind of feel like taking it easy those days. And I have two little kids. So sometimes that was a little hard. 
but overall again I'm glad I did it it was worth it and these side effects weren't like I didn't feel like sick like I didn't feel like I had the flu or anything I just felt like a little off things that helped were taking a nap if I could um an electrolyte drink kind of helped with that energy making sure that I was eating and eating well um all those things kind of helped I decided to go with the compounds because my insurance does not cover it. I did not want to pay $550 a month for name brands. It does come in a vial and you draw the medicine out with an insulin needle, self-inject. I was like a little nervous about how that would go because I don't have a clinical background or anything, but it's been totally fine. It's not hard to figure out. The medicine has worked excellent. <laughs> And um, it comes very sterile. I feel good about the pharmacies that Joint Fridays works with and sends to. They're all licensed. And Joint Fridays only uses medical grade compounding medication. So I definitely feel good about using the compound. Now, okay, what if you want to switch? So what if you are on terzepatide, but you're having a lot of side effects and you want to see if your body would respond better to semaglutide or what if you're on semaglutide, but you kind of hit a weight loss lull and you're not losing weight anymore and you want to try terzepatide, you can do that. You can switch and your provider will have a plan for you. Different providers might do it different ways. If you're on semaglutide and you want to start trisepatide, they might start you on the starting dose of trisepatide, or they might start you on a more mid-dose on trisepatide since you were already on semaglutide. So that's just something to work with your provider on, but that's something that you can do. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any comments, any questions, if you want to tell me about your journey, please do leave it in the comments. I love to chat with people in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. I would love if you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.